They don't want us there. It's so easy to understand if you live there. Right. You know, we live in an area, in a region, that it's so different from uh, Denmark or from Europe. In the south, we have the Hamas. In the north, we have the Hezbollah and Al-Qaeda. In the east, we have ISIS. Mm. In the west, we are very lucky. We have the sea. <laughs> but, 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 Minister, you're saying that the, it's easier to understand why they're firing at you because they don't want you there. Maybe it's because you are occupying them. No, we are not occupying In Gaza? Because, no, of course not. We, not? we withdrew until uh, the last inch. Fully. Yeah, the official, I remember the, the uh, official line of the UN is that Gaza is occupied by no, Israel. Of course not. Uh, uh, there's uh, no peace agreement. No it, it's way. not no, been no, accepted no, no, no. by the According UN According to the international Council. law, we are not occupiers anymore. The UN said two years ago and repeated recently UN, again uh, uh, that I they don't, don't know, accept this. I don't know. The US, on, on the US public line is, you are still occupying no, Gaza. No, of course not, of course The EU saying the same. No, not, not at all. When, not at all. What can we do? When we withdrew fully, there was a very big debate within the Israeli cabinet. I was then foreign minister and deputy prime minister. And I remember that the security people were asking to uh, keep a corridor named Philadelphia Corridor, 200 meters, it's not so uh, large, and uh, to stay there in order to prevent smuggling of weapons. And the Ministry of Justice came there, the international uh, uh, law uh, uh, department, and they told us very clear, yeah. we should withdraw until the last inch. Yes, Otherwise, yes, of course. they will look at us as occupiers. We are not occupiers But you're talking anymore. about now the government of Israel and the Israeli uh, High Court. I'm talking about the UN, the US and the European no, Union. No. They are all... How we are occupiers who are not there? Well, are you controlling the are you controlling the access to Gaza? No. Are you controlling the air and the all. seas? Not at all. You're not controlling Gaza? No, we're not controlling Gaza because... You're not controlling the access no, to Gaza? No, they have an open access from Rafa to Egypt. Why we have to give them an access to Israel? <laughs> it's, uh, it's strange. You, uh, we must give them an access. They have an access uh, to Egypt okay. through Rafa crossing. They can go overseas every time but they this, want. But it, it, in 2008, there was a leaked communication from the U.S. embassy in Tel Aviv to the Israeli government between these two parties. Israel told U.S. officials that it would keep Gaza's economy, quote, on the brink of collapse. This was what you wanted to do to Gaza. Not a, and not you are a, saying you're not controlling it. No, we're not, not controlling. We are uh, giving them everything they're asking. There are hundreds of trucks that are coming on a daily you're basis. people from in Gaza everything they're asking? It's not uh, up to us to give them everything, everything that they're asking. They have to ask them for their government. But while they're asking for products and goods, I want you to know every day on a daily basis, hundreds of trucks are coming from the Israeli side to, the, uh, uh, to uh, Gaza, into Gaza, full of products, full of goods, everything they're asking. They can have even more trucks if they want. They don't want because they want to, to keep Who the is smuggling deciding industry. deciding how many trucks going into Gaza? Who is deciding yeah. what's in the... If they want, they I've, I've, I've never heard. You never heard because I've never it, heard anything so absurd in my life. It's not an absurd. It's the truth. So I'm the minister for Jan Corporation. I'm in charge you're for that. If you're shipping something, Mr. Minister, to Gaza, you have to go through Ashdod, the Israeli port. So, right? so okay. Who's in control of Ashdod? What? The Palestinians. What does it mean, control? They can go through Alexandria, through El Arish. Why through Israel? Israel is forced to give them an access. Why is that? Okay, so the they can go through Egypt. Okay, so the UN, the US... It's an absurd that you are asking us to so, give them so, an access. So the UN and the US and the EU, they are all wrong. I don't, if, I don't know if they are saying it. I've never heard yeah. it. If you are saying so, so they are wrong. But the reality is there. They are having 250, 300 trucks on a daily basis. They can have more than 400 because more than that, okay. we cannot, uh, we, the, the, there is not enough okay. place for them. Okay, uh, so, so it sounds like that there's no problem at all. I mean, why, maybe the Palestinians are actually reacting to the fact that you are uh, an occupying force. Let me just ask you, what is the root of the, this conflict? I will not, tell the, you. not the occupation? Not at all, not at all. Then what? That it's not well understood. You know, the Hamas is saying very clear, it has a covenant, you just have to Google it and to read it. And they are saying very clear, first that Israel has no right to exist, it's well known. But more than that, you know what they are saying there in their covenant? They are saying that the territory of Israel does not belong to the Palestinians, you know it? They say that it doesn't belong to the Palestinians, nor to the Arabs. 
It belongs to every Muslim around the world. It belongs to the Waqf trustee, this, this is, this, uh, this, to the Muslim trustee. And that's why they are saying there, several, there is no Muslim this, around this, the world, why? no matter if he's a king, a president or prime minister, that has the right to give up about an inch but of that territory. You're, but you're saying first that, that they, they are trying to achieve what they want through violence because they don't yes. want to talk. Who, went, who walked away from negotiations in the spring when Hamas and Fatah joined forces in the new coalition government? Israel did. You would like... You walked away because you didn't want to uh, talk to Hamas. You know, uh, you are... Uh, Isn't it true? No. You didn't walk away from the negotiations? No, we walked away, but I will tell you why. If I tell you that I want to kill you, I will I'm really do everything in order to kill you, you will negotiate with me. <laughs> Members, a, this is part of the it's government. It's an absurd. Sev it's an absurd. Se several Hamas leaders have said publicly that they are willing to accept a deal based on the 67 borders, both in the local leadership and also uh, Khaled Mashal in the exile. Khaled Mashal said they, it. they said <laughs> that they are, go they are going to, if you if you're going to withdraw to the 67 borders, they would accept a two, uh, they would accept a deal. A deal. Yes. And what did that deal say? Well, you have to negotiate on that. What did they, with the Hamas? That with is asking to kill with us. With the Palestinian government. Oh, well, no problem. With the president, we would like to. We, no, uh, we have the, you we, walked away from we the We made so many government. concessions for the Palestinians. We withdrew from all the cities within the West Bank. What we got? Suicide bombers. We got 20,000 terrorist attacks. We got f uh, 140 casualties every month What? for years. Okay. And when we have decided to put an end after the massacre in Natania, in Park Hotel, in the eve of Passover, Then we got in once again and we put an end. And since just, when okay. we don't have suicide okay, bombers. Okay, okay, so okay. what you are asking us to have more suicide no, bombers, I, I'm just more killing, you, more casualties. You, well, you started by saying that Hamas doesn't want to talk to you. And I'm saying you don't want to talk to Hamas. Members of the Israeli government, your own government, yeah. members, ministers yeah. in your own government are rejecting a two-state solution. Let's just look at uh, Naftali Bennett, one of your colleagues in, okay. in government. And, yeah. But why do you oppose Palestinian statehood? I vehemently oppose uh, establishing a Palestinian state in the heart of Israel because it, it's not going to work. It'll be a failed and terror state, and that's not good for anyone. Okay. So? This is just echoing what parts of our no, 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 because we have an official policy that was stated by the prime minister, yes. and the prime minister has said that he accepted the idea of two-state solution. Okay. So every minister can say what he so, wants. So does, so does the Palestinian not government. At all. Not at all, in, this, but in the spring, Hamas. There is, no, there is no Israeli that is asking to kill the Palestinians, to destroy them, to throw them no away. No, no one of them. No, no Israeli. No Israeli. No, not at all. They are asking to kill us, to destroy us, to uh, 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 kick us out of listen, the listen, listen, of the country. Well, I understand. To, what is, okay, I'm saying that the Palestinian Authority, the Palestinian government, yes. which now includes Hamas, yes, they publicly said that they accept all previous deals, which includes the acceptance of Israel and the two-state solution. So that, what's the problem? Why don't you just negotiate first, to end this? First, they never did it. Second, we are doing everything we can in order to negotiate with the Palestinian Authority. We have decided to freeze the settlements after they were asking for a, a precondition. We released prisoners, murderers, the cruelest one, just in order to bring them to negotiate. They never showed up. Never. You are asking me now to talk to Germany if they will have the Nazis as part of the government? No way. Never. You have to understand, it's a Nazi movement. They are trying to kill us. They are saying very clear, Israel has no right to exist and the Jews should go back okay. to the places they came from. Okay, so let's, you're saying that you want a two-state solution. You accept the Palestinians driving for statehood. This is what you want. Two states living side by side, right? Let's look at how you are trying to achieve this. This uh, map shows uh, Israeli settlements. This shows how you have systematically undermined what you claim that you want. It's logically impossible to have a viable Palestinian state here. Look at it. Look at the map. I know the map. Uh, This is, yeah, I don't I, have I'm to look at it. I know the map. No, I'm afraid so. What, so <laughs> I know what? the map. Yes, I'm afraid But you, uh, you should know some history. Because when we have decided to have a peace treaty with Egypt, We evacuated all the settlements yes. and we withdrew from the, so, those settlements. When we have decided to disengage from Gaza in order to have some peace with the Palestinians and to withdraw, I'm, I'm, and this, to withdraw this, fully this from Gaza, we evacuated the settlements. Why are you building settlements that are clearly... Listen, 
Uh, do you agree that it First, makes it more difficult to, in, to no, reach an agreement? because we are a democracy. And if every Israeli government will take a decision to sign the peace treaty with the Palestinians, this will be implemented fully, no matter what would be the, uh, the status. I would like to tell you more than that. You are talking about our side. What about their side? Well, I have your side. Your, your, but what about their you're side? You're Israeli, aren't you? I'm, I'm an Israeli, so but I'm it takes you. two to tango, as you know. We can't have a negotiation you're between yourself and myself. Yourself. But this just shows how, how far we are from, from, from reaching an end to this conflict. You totally deny that these settlements is in any way undermining the effort to no, reach a solution. No. Because, because many of them will remain in the Israeli hands, even according to the Palestinians, in a swap that will be made between our two sides. So there are not going to be any obstacles. Like we didn't have them as obstacles in our peace treaty with Egypt and in our decision to disengage from Gaza. You have to get it. You have to understand okay, it. Okay. We are a democracy. Every government of Israel that will take a decision to p sign the peace treaty with the okay. Palestinians, it will be fulfilled. You negotiate with, with the PLO before they recognize Israel, with, before they actually uh, totally oppose the use of violence and terrorists. You had secret negotiations with, with, the, with the, the Palestinians and the PLO. You could do it before. It was not officially. Why? It was, no. no so it was why, not why can't you do it now? With whom? Do it in secret, whatever. Just with whom? Talk. How can you make peace? But with whom? How can you make peace with not, if not talking to We would your have enemies? to talk to the Palestinians. They are not willing to talk. You should understand they are not willing to make any kind of compromise. They are always asking Israel, and you are asking Israel, to make a compromise. What kind of compromise the Palestinians did since we started our negotiations in 93? One compromise that you will tell me, and I will tell you, fine. You are... Uh, uh, right. Okay. But you can't even give me one. Okay, just just totally frank. It's not going to end this conflict, is it? What? It's not going to end. I want to end the conflict. We, we all of us would like to end the conflict. And you have to know, we are in the same boat. It won't help the Europeans. We are in the same boat because for them, all those Muslim extremists, the idea is first we take Manhattan, then we take Berlin. First we take Israel, then we take Europe. That's it. And if you don't understand it, you will, unfortunately, in the near future.